Today's Roblox Tower video consists of a tower that has a feature that the other ones that I've covered haven't. That is working clock dials. Although A, there's no exterior and B, they have a second hand which is quite odd and inter interesting. This is free bell ringing, open bracket, St. Cyprian und Cornelius, close bracket. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Great British Bells. Didn't forget this time to say the back. Uh, but welcome back to Great British Bells. Today we're in a tower which has, uh, as I said in the intro, oh, oh my god. <laughs> they forgot to anchor the fence down. Oh dear. I've just knocked over your fence. Sorry about that. But um, uh, as I said, um, this uh, particular tower has four clock dials with what seems to be an attempt at a, like a, sh a drive shaft, uh, which is quite nice to see, although <laughs> it's not placed the best, I would say. But that doesn't matter, um, because we're here for the bells, um, although there's no, there isn't an exterior either, and that clock dial does seem to be clipping through the stairs, which um, I'm pretty sure would degrade the life of the dial by quite some time. Um, but anyway, moving on from that, uh, we have the bells up here. There are four of them, if I can count correctly, which I apparently can today. There are four bells. This one looks like it's going to clip through that uh, podium. Let's see, actually. Can we see outside? Can I see the sunlight? Can I see... I sort of can. It's just grass. So, that's what's beyond the tower. Beyond life in the tower is just grass. Oh! I'm sorry, I kind of wanted, I, I wanted to try that. That wasn't an accident, but uh, I've just thrown your fence down the stairs. Anyway, um, we have four bells here. Now, I I, they are the... Oh, that, that's helpful. The They are clearly designated as to which is which, which button is which. That bell is already clipping through that uh, column. Never mind what I was saying. A uh, pedestal. But, um... I th there isn't really much else to say, really, so uh, I think we'll just get straight to the ringing. So I think the smallest one is this one here. These look about the same. No, sorry. I don't think they're the same size. No, they're not. Um, but this one looks the smallest, so uh, let's give this one a try. Uh, and hopefully something catastrophic doesn't happen, which I have my doubts for. But uh, let's give it a go. Hello. I don't think that's working. Uh... Okay, folks, so the, uh, the lightest bell doesn't work. Uh, I thought it'd be maybe Hammerstruck or something because it's got no clapper, but... Nope. Absolutely nothing. Have I got my volume on? I have as well. But, uh... Absolutely zero life in that one. So we'll just have to move on to the smallest, which... The sec uh, second smallest, which I believe is this one. So it was a treble, which doesn't work. This is the tenor over here, I believe. So we've just got to go in order. Um, there's the button for it. So uh, without further ado, let's do the um, second to lightest. Here we go. Oh, you must be joking. No audio. It has no audio. Never do this in real life, by the way. Uh, what I'm about to attempt to do is try and knock the clapper to make sure that it is just the clapper that's the issue. I do believe it is, ladies and gentlemen. This bell does not have noise. Or sound, even. Which is majorly, majorly disappointing. Uh, let's let's try the this one. The, I don't have much hope for this game, to be honest. But uh, let's try this one. Uh, 
No audio either. Uh, very disappointing. Uh, let's try this, the tenor. Hopefully the tenor doesn't disappoint, um, but I don't have much hope, to be honest, so... No audio as well. Thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed there. That is a disappointment, and that's also a wasted uh, recording. So uh, I guess we're just after going to find another game. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I've found another game. This one is called Free Bell Ringing Herne Dash Holst Holster Horsen. Uh, open bracket, five bells, close bracket. Um, I probably absolutely massacred that um, pronunciation but that's just the way my pronounce pronunciation goes with words like that so this looks to, uh, this looks like it takes place in a shed of some sort with louvres on the window can't say I've seen that before but we have got five bells let's just hope they work and here is the control panel so we have H O D-I-S apostrophe, F-I-S apostrophe, G-I-S apostrophe, and H apostrophe. So let's just go with H-O first. I believe that's the treble, though I could be wrong. But without further ado, here we go. And let's hope it has sound this time. Well, I do in fact believe that uh, the second the second time is the charm, because that one, that bell sounds amazing. It's got a really low pitch, growly sound, and I I really do like that. But I think we've accidentally rung the tenor instead of the treble, so uh, that's a mistake from me. But we're just going to have to go in the order that we started in, so it's lowest to highest now, I suppose. So now uh, it's time for D I S apostrophe, and without further ado, here we go. And that one was, uh, again, a very, very nice sound. Um, so that was the second 
lowest, I believe. Yeah, because those ones look smaller. So, without further ado, let's do the, yeah, the, say the middle bell, F-I-S apostrophe. Here we go. Again, another very nice sounding bell. Um, so let's move on to the second to last, and the, I guess the second to highest, G-I-S apostrophe. Here we go. Yes, again, another very nice sounding bell. Uh, and that brings us to the last one, the treble, which is H apostrophe. Here we go. If I can click it. Oh, I really do quite like that one. It's got a really nice kind of high pitch to it, but sounds a little bit different from others that I've heard before. That 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 is a nice bell. Um, and now after ringing them all separately, you know what time it is. It's time to ring them all uh, together. So without further ado, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's start. I think we'll start lowest first because it takes longer to uh, start. So uh, without further ado... Here we go.
that was a terrific peal of bells. I mean, the sound, the highs and the lows kind of blend together and give this really nice tone of overall. I really, really do like it. I think it's magnificent. Um, apologies how it was a little bit shorter than peels we've done in the past. It's just, it's currently t 17 minutes past 10. And I'm kind of rushing to get this video out because I already wasted my time on the uh, recording you saw previous to this one. So um, I'm just going to really get going. I've already put the tower, uh, Tournament of the Towers out there. So if you want to go and cast your vote, votes ends, vote, vote, <coughs> sorry. vote ends uh, in two days on Tuesday. Um, but apart from that, I'll leave you to it. Uh, I've been Great British Bells. Farewell. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've found another game. This one is called Free Bell Ringing Herne Dash Holst Holster Horsen. Uh, open bracket, five bells, close bracket. Um, I probably absolutely massacred that um, pronunciation. But that's just the way my pronounce pronunciation goes with words like that. So this looks, t uh, this looks like it takes place in a shed of some sort with louvres on the window can't say I've seen that before but we have got five bells let's just hope they work and here is the control panel so we have H O D I S apostrophe F I S apostrophe G I S apostrophe and H apostrophe so let's just go with H O first I believe that's the treble though I could be wrong but without further ado here we go and let's hope it has sound this time Well, I do in fact believe that uh, the second char the second time is the charm, because that one, that bell sounds amazing. It's got a really low pitch growly sound, and I I really do like that. But I think we've accidentally rung the tenor instead of the treble, so uh, that's a mistake from me. But we're just going to have to go in the order that we started in, so it's lowest to highest now, I suppose. So now uh, it's time for D I S apostrophe, and without further ado, here we go.
And that one was, uh, again, a very, very nice sound. Um, so that was the second lowest, I believe. Yeah, because those ones look smaller. So without further ado, let's do the, yeah, the, say the middle bell, F-I-S apostrophe. Here we go. Again, another very nice sounding bell. Um, so let's move on to the second to last, and the, I guess the second to highest, G-I-S apostrophe. Here we go. Yes, again, another very nice sounding bell. Uh, and that brings us to the last one, the treble, which is H apostrophe. Here we go. If I can click it. Oh, I really do quite like that one. It's got a really nice kind of high pitch to it, but sounds a little bit different from others that I've heard before. That 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 is a nice bell. Um, and now after ringing them all separately, you know what time it is. It's time to ring them all uh, together. So without further ado, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's start. I think we'll start lowest first because it takes longer to uh, start. So uh, without further ado... Here we go.
that was a terrific peal of bells. I mean, the sound, the highs and the lows kind of blend together and give this really nice tone of overall. I really, really do like it. I think it's magnificent. Um, apologies how it was a little bit shorter than peels we've done in the past. It's just, it's currently t 17 minutes past 10. And I'm kind of rushing to get this video out because I already wasted my time on the uh, recording you saw previous to this one. So um, I'm just going to really get going. I've already put the tower, uh, Tournament of the Towers out there. So if you want to go and cast your vote, votes ends, vote, vote, <coughs> sorry. vote ends uh, in two days on Tuesday. Um, but apart from that, I'll leave you to it. Uh, I've been Great British Bells. Farewell. <laughs>